Hey guys, and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. I've put together this video because a few of you in the comments, or quite a few of you, have said you've had difficulties getting the CPS1, the Capcom Play System 1 core running on your analog pocket. Uh, it was very nice, it was super nice of Hotego for upgrading this core to a public core so everyone can enjoy it for free without having to subscribe uh, and uh, to Hotego's Patreon. So, guys, uh, CPS1 is an excellent system. This is Captain Commando, it's a fantastic beat em up, it's something I enjoy enjoyed um, in the arcades and i enjoyed playing it even even now like I, I i like to jump in once in a while and and play you get to be a baby that rides a robot but there's so many good games on there make sure you check out willow magic sword final fight the street fighter games world warrior champion edition hyper fighting but there's a whole load of games on there but um for this uh, tutorial i've got a new memory card the only thing on that memory card i've got a few gb studio games that i used on the last tutorial apart from that there are no open fpga cores on there i've chosen retro driven's pocket updater but you don't have to use that one you can use neil morrison's updater you can use uh you can use uh matt panella's pocket updater as well so there's three updaters that i know of that i use either one of them is good but for this tutorial we're going to use retro driven's one so if you're having difficulties just follow what i'm doing in the tutorial i'm doing this real time it's on a memory card i don't already have this core installed i've got it on my main memory card but i've had it for a while because i am a patron subscriber of hotegos but um yeah for you guys that are not let's see let's get it working a lot of you guys you probably know how to do this but this video isn't for you so if you're still here i appreciate you guys watching you know it helps with the with, with the channel and the views but if you know what you're doing and you've got the core this video is not for you this is only for you guys that are having difficulties guys before we get into the video if you're not subscribed uh, then a subscription and a like is super appreciated Let's get into this tutorial. Here we are on Pocket Update, and our latest version is 1.5.6. I'll leave a link to Retro Driven's GitHub where you can acquire the latest version. So once we're on here, you're going to be on this screen over here. So uh, you can have a look at the options, uh, but this isn't the most important part yet. Now, what you want to do is use alternative download location. Make sure you've switched this on, and this is in here. Uh, it should generate itself automatically. If it doesn't, just copy what you're seeing over here and add that in there. And the reason for that is previously, um, all the assets were retrieved from archive.org and archive.org is very, very slow. Uh, however, uh, Retro Driven has kindly actually hosted stuff. So guys, if you can support these guys in any way, support them because this is costing Retro Driven. It's something that he's providing to us for free. He's, he's paying for the hosting of the files that the updater is retrieving. So let's just go into manage calls. Now I've got everything unticked. So if all your calls are ticked, which might be the default option, just untick all of them. Um, I will, you can leave all of them if you want to grab everything but i for this tutorial we are just going to do cps1 so we want to find jt cps1 which is over here now let's just let's uh switch that on so we've got no other cores okay so my options have been saved now and hopefully that's the only thing when we run the updater it's only going to fetch the capcom cores so let's have a look now so here we go uh nope so we want removable storage because i've got my micro sd inserted now i recommend doing this via uh plugging in an sd card in your pc rather than doing it through uh the analog pocket being plugged into a usb us uh, usb c to usb a or usb c to usb c and the reason for that is the usb transfer speed is really slow in the analog pocket you're going to be waiting like a month before it's done so take out that sd card if you don't have an sd card reader or your pc doesn't have one then grab one it's very very useful with the analog pocket okay so now just have a look at the options download roms biases yes preserve platforms okay so let's get rid of the pre-release cores because uh, we only want uh for this tutorial only want cps1 but feel free to uh use what you want generate pc engine cd jasons okay we're not doing that course i'm gonna leave that off fix hotego core names we'll leave that on there sick alternative arcade files well okay we'll leave that for now but you might uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna switch that off for now but you might want to leave that on because that might get you some of the alternatives for the CPS1 game. So, for example, it might get you the Rainbow Editions or some of the hacks uh, that are out there. It might even get you some of the, the fan-made hacks like uh, SF2 Mix, which is a very good Street Fighter game. Right, okay, so let's just save that now. Okay, I'm kind of happy with everything. So let's hit Update. And the really nice thing is we've got this Updater Status window here. And let's have a look. Okay, so, wow. Okay, so it's checking a lot of stuff, but it shouldn't actually 
oh wow okay it has actually downloaded some additional stuff that that wasn't my intention but okay cool we've got the anton girl exerion on there and we've got the tamagotchi from um adam gastinu but here we go we can see it's doing cps1 now this might take some time so i'll let it run its thing um and i might actually just pop out and uh, leave this recording i'll come back later and we'll check out the status of it and i'll finish the rest of this video but i guess you won't know that because it'll be edited and everything will be seamless <laughs> So here we are we've got assets updated 165 now it downloaded the tamagotchi core the xerion core outrun and the jt cop core which also has um robocop on there i didn't select those I'm not sure why it downloaded those but to be honest i'm not too fast the main thing we were looking at was the jt cps1 now 165 assets most of them are going to be the cp uh, cps1 games and you can see there's there's just plenty plenty in here uh, feel free to have a look we've got the Mega Man games knights of the round table area 88 that's a really really good game un squadron that was on the super nintendo but area 88 fantastically good very very difficult 1941 willow what i spoke about at the beginning final fight uh street fighter 2 guys there's a whole bunch here and it has worked we're going to go over to the analog pocket and have a look to see um see it working uh it there's no reason why it shouldn't work the report is giving me is saying everything is working and that's that's us having a look at the micro sd of the analog pocket so if we go into assets and let's just right click on cps1 just to get an idea of how uh large the entire thing is so the cps1 okay so the whole set is coming in at 707 not bad i can't tell you the exact time it took to download because i had to pop out while i was doing this tutorial but while i was at home it did fetch the vast majority of it and so guys it really is easy peasy lemon squeezy let's go over to the analog pocket and uh let's see some uh, some of these cps1 games running so here we are on our analog pocket. We want to head over to the Open FPGA section and then head over to uh, the CPS One Core, the Capcom CPS One Core. Let's load up a game. Let's load up uh, Captain Commando. So guys, here we are. We are in game. We are playing Captain Commando. There are lots and lots of good games on the Capcom Play System One. Definitely go through them. Check some out. Uh, if you're familiar with them, then awesome. You've got CPS One. If you haven't played many of the CPS One games, then honestly, you're in for a treat the games are top notch uh a little bit unusual of me doing this tutorial because i've kind of covered this before when i've done the patreon versions but i did have a lot of requests on the channel where people were having difficulty getting this running well hopefully this tutorial helps you uh if you follow uh my tutorial step by step do it exactly the way i've done it you will get it working cps1 does work you don't need to add any files manually the updaters will do it or you just need to insert your memory card in and literally say grab the cores for me now i only chose the cps1 core you can uh, pick everything if you like if that's what you want to do or you can pick and choose the cores you want so you can add additional cores to it and whatnot but you don't need anything you don't need to add any files manually it just works and i tried retro driven's pocket updater i know it also works on map panel as well i haven't tried it on pocket sync uh, personally myself but there's no reason why it shouldn't work on any of the updates if you've got any questions then hit me in the comments below and uh, if you did find this tutorial useful then a subscription and a like is super appreciated anyway guys this is pixel cherry ninja out